Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Buff Games with you. Today I'll be doing a review on the updated Fernando Santos 4123 formation. So let's get started, guys. As we all know, Fernando Santos used to use the 4312 formation, but now it's been updated to the 4123 formation. For his offensive tactics, its attacking style is a possession game. The build up is a short pass. The attacking areas from the flanks, the position is flexible. Defensive style, frontline pressure. The pressing is aggressive. His defensive tactics uses the counter attack, build up, short pass. You know, his defensive tactics, apart from the attacking style, the rest are the same. So let's get started with the offensive tactics, which will be the possession game. We need to use a center forward with the fox in the box playing style. You could use Lukaku, Harry Kane, or any other center forward with the fox in the box playing style. Why do we need this? Now, players with the fox in the box playing style, they tend to support possession game. They don't always position themselves at the front. They move around the opponent's 18 yard box looking for passes. They support the play. They help distribute passes to the attacking midfielders. And for the wingers, the left wing forward and the right wing forward, we're going to use players with the roaming flank playing style. We could also use players with the creative playmaker playing style. But I prefer using the roaming flank because with Fernando Santos, you attack through the flank. So it's best to use the roaming flank like Filippo Coutinho, Messi, Son Heung Min. These kind of players, they don't just stick to the flanks. They tend to cut in from the flanks to receive passes from the midfielders. For the midfield, we're going to use two AMFs, attacking midfielders. These attacking midfielders should have the creative playmaker playing style, like Mesedozio, Paulo Dybala, even Neymar. The attacking midfielders should pass the ball directly to the center forward. Now, also in receiving passes, they position themselves at key positions which make it easier to receive passes. That's why we need them, because the offensive tactics of Fernando Santos are all about possession, the passing game, Tiki Taka. For the defensive midfielder, we're going to need a player with the box to box playing style or the destroyer playing style. Why do we need these kind of players? Because the containment area in this formation is wide. This is my second account, so I don't have Vieira or Kimmich who are both destroyers. So I'm going to use Bastoni, who is a destroyer. But he's a centre back, so he won't play it as good as he's supposed to. I could also use Ronaldo, he's a box to box player. You basically need to use players who can groom the pitch without getting tired, who have good strength, who have good physical contact, and also good passing. For the wing backs, we need to have offensive full backs. We need to have them because they lap into the midfield, they support the passing game too, they help the wing forwards and the AMFs, they help the distribution line which makes passing very very much easier. So I'd advise you to use offensive fullbacks. For the centre backs we need to use players with a build up playing style like Harry Maguire, Van Dijk, the Licks. And also, the goalkeeper should have a defensive goalkeeper playing style. The last thing we need to do now is to turn on the offside trap. Mine is already on. So that's it for the offensive tactics of Fernando Santos. We'll be moving on now to the defensive tactics. The defensive tactics makes use of the counter-attack attacking style. So this means we'll need a goal poacher for the centre forward. We could use Marcus Rashford. Sergio Aguero, Lewandowski, Kylian Mbappe, we just need centre forwards with the goal poacher playing style. Our wingers, our right wing forward and our left wing forward, they need to be prolific wingers. So I'm going to use Loretto Insigne for my left wing forward and for my right wing forward, I'm going to use Gareth Bale. I'll have Messi on substitutes, then Bale will be on the starting 11.
the center forward we will use has to have a lot of speed it should be very very fast apart from having the goal poacher playing style the center forward needs to be very fast i'd advise you to use mbappe or rashford they are very very fast center forwards i think they are the fastest center forwards in the game the prolific wingers stay at the flanks they take advantage of the overlapping full backs they cut in to strike shots at the goal they always try to score goals they need to be super fast so that they can beat the right back or the left back of the opponent. In this case, we're going to have two CMFs, two center midfielders and one DMF. Unlike his offensive tactics where we had two AMFs and one DMF, now we need to have two CMFs and one DMF. The two CMFs need to have the box to box playing style. This enables them to move around the pitch without getting tired. They can receive passes from the defenders or for the attackers. They should be very good at passing so they can accurately distribute the ball to the wingers during attacking situations. As for the defenders, the playing style stays the same, just like the offensive tactics of Fernando Santos. We need offensive fullbacks, build up centre backs. For the goalkeeper, however, the goalkeeper changes. In this case, we need to use an offensive goalkeeper. Ederson, Allison, Casillas, Donnarumma, but not Oblak. Oblak is defensive. And lastly, we need to turn off our auto offside trap. We need to turn it off for using the defensive tactics for Fernando Santos. And that brings us to the end of this video. This is how to use the updated Fernando Santos' 4 1 2 3 formation, both the offensive tactics and the defensive tactics. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Don't forget to turn on your notifications, guys. On Friday, I'll be posting the goals of the week compilation on my YouTube channel.